Let's now take you to the Western Cape, where the city of Cape Town's recently released annual inland water quality report has revealed the presence of high E. coli in water sources such as rivers. The E. coli count also increased from 49% in 2019 to 59% in 2023. Our reporter, Latasha Naidu, now joins us live from Cape Town with those details. Latasha, very good morning to you. So some concerning figures um, and findings emerging from that report. Tell us more about it. Good morning, Aldrin. Well, that annual inland water quality report for Cape Town revealed amongst uh, a number of contributing factors to the water pollution, urbanization, um, the dumping of uh, pollu uh, dumping of uh, um, uh, contaminants, um, raw sewage flowing into the water supply, which have all contributed to that poor water quality of inland water supplies in the city. Now, um, the, the, the report was released just a few days ago, and uh, speaking to ex experts, the city of Cape Town has actually been commended for essentially airing their dirty laundry by showcasing the, the report, the data, and these are the um, issues that they have to deal with with regard to inland water quality. One of the main concerns was the high or unacceptably high uh, range of E. coli that was detected in 59% uh, of the samples from rivers taken in and around the city. But here to tell me more is Professor Kevin Winter from UCT's uh, Future Water Institute, who's uh, dealt a lot in terms of uh, finding the sources of water contamination, uh, dealing with the sewage issues, and he's going to talk to us more about some of those contaminants and some of those contributing factors that have uh, aided the water pollution in the inland water supply. Professor Winter, thank you for speaking to us. Some damning findings emerging from this report. How safe is the water quality of uh, Cape Town, of the city of Cape Town? We know that this is not water that um, residents consume, but the water that flows from the rivers are severely contaminated. Yeah, you know, I think the report gives a very clear idea of what's going on. And most importantly, it gives us uh, an idea of the deterioration of the water decline, if you like, of the water quality from 2019 to where we are at right now uh, in 2023 when the report was compiled and the data was put that together and it's just been released as a 2024 report. And I think, as you said, I commend the city for literally hanging out as dirty washing because uh, it's showing data that's giving us some indication of how serious the water quality is. Professor, we know that last year in Hammond's Crawl, um, 29 people died as a result of consuming water that was contaminated with E. coli. Is there the risk of that or the potential risk of that happening for people living in the city who may be getting some of their water source from rivers that are contaminated? Well, we should never see E. coli in our waters here in the Western Cape. That's partly because of the environment in which we're in and the Mediterranean climate makes a difference there as well. So you shouldn't be seeing that. But most of all, we have water supply across most of the city. Uh, if I'm in an informal settlement, I can drink the same water quality from that tap as I would be doing at home. So there's no chance, I think, of it happening. And, and may my words be true uh, in terms of any risk that we face in doing so. Of course, one of the things that I think we look into in terms of inland water is that the recreational water is tainted. That's where we really want to try and turn something around that is, is seriously declining at the moment. We want our waters to be uh, available for recreational space. We want those waters to be clean enough so that aquatic systems can actually survive there and our ecological services can improve the quality of that water. But right now, they're under stress. And so we're losing out of a very important nature-based solution to clean in the water because we've destroyed the water quality. Thank you, Professor Winter. Aldrin, uh, another factor emerging from this report was that load shedding had uh, contributed severely to the maintenance of wastewater treatment plants. Now, this is a story that we'll be following and speaking to experts uh, over the course of the day to just find out what those uh, findings in the report mean for residents of the city of Cape Town and what can be done to rectify the solution.